You know, carousels are the next big thing as they're spinning their way into motion graphics and today we're taking After Effects for a full rotation. So if you want to create those clean looping animations that make your text and visuals flow with some style, let's get started. Okay, here's my attempt to tone down on my voice and break down all these carousel examples so you can keep things spinning without being dizzy. First, let's go ahead and create this simple text carousel because all you need is some text and if you need to vary the style, you can just select your copy and edit it however you need in the character panel controls, but make sure that your title is at least horizontally aligned in the center of your composition like this. Now, take the pan behind tool and move the title anchor point to where you want the center of your carousel animation to revolve around because if we rotate this, it will revolve around this point. No problem? Okay. Well, now you just need to duplicate your title and rotate each duplicate until you close up the full circle. The lower your rotation amount is, the more titles that you will need. So, you know, I just woke up and chose violence. Anyway, create a null object and then parent all your titles to it. Also, you're going to have to take the null object's anchor point and move it over with the pan behind tool once again to the center of the carousel, which will allow you to rotate the text that you cannot see and change their text. Now to animate everything, try all clicking the stopwatch for rotation and use the time asterisk negative five expression or any value to get this moving along. And that's about it for text. You can also add other graphics like this arrow if you like. Now what about image or video carousels? The process is similar, but here is the best approach. Grab any of the shape tools that you like, say the rounded rectangle tool for brownie style points and draw out a shape as you can edit the roundness. Now once positioned, move the anchor point to the center point of where your carousel is going to be. And then we can go ahead and bring an image or a video and set the track mat of that layer to the shape that we just created and great. This allows you to resize any image and everything will stay inside of that box. Now just parent your media to the shape and then you can do Duplicate everything and rotate the shape by 30 or so degrees until you complete the circle again. Just keep duplicating. Now, if you select your media in the timeline and you hold Alt or Option on your keyboard, you can easily swap in new media from your project panel. And honestly, this is just like the most underrated hack ever. So, you know, once that's complete, parent all your shapes to the null object and then move the null's anchor point to the center of your carousel. And this time, add the time expression again to animate this baby. Cute doggos are sold separately. <laughs> Next up, we'll dive into 3D carousels to make us unstoppable. But become unstoppable and save time with my free Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, drag and drop seamless transitions, and cinematic motion graphics that you can customize in no time. You can access thousands of templates and presets directly in our motion duck extension, where you can edit them to fit your vision in seconds, so you can produce your masterpiece for yourself and your clients in no time with these countless assets linked below. And if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting this channel so thank you very much all right let's go ahead and create some 3d carousels first we'll start with the text carousel as it's very easy to understand so with a title make the layer 3d and then create a 3d null object you can set the z position of your title to negative 500 and then duplicate it parent the duplicate to the null object and then rotate the null by 60 degrees and then duplicate and unparent one of the titles and repeat this process until you have a full carousel rotated by 60 degrees at a time. And when you're done, feel free to create a camera layer and then use the camera tools here at the top to slightly look down on your master design. And of course, don't forget to parent everything back to the null object and animate the Y rotation to finalize your 3D text spinny object. For 3D image carousels, we can get a little more creative and design, say, a museum-esque presentation. Now, to set this all up, again, use one of the shape tools and then Matt Damon your media to that shape. <laughs> and of course, make both layers 3D. You can also add some text as 3D layers as well if you want. Just be sure to set the text Z position to negative one so that it will all sit on top of the video. Now, once it's ready, you can parent everything to the shape Matt and then set the shape's Z position again to negative 500. And then the next step is to create your 3D null object. Now, when you're ready, duplicate your slide elements right here and then parent the shape to the null object. And just like the previous example, we'll rotate the null object by 60 degrees at a time and then unparent and reparent all the new duplicates to it and then continue to spin this by, you know, deja vu, I know. Now, this is a good time to replace your media with new clips with that alt drag technique. But when you're done, parent all your shapes to the null object. And instead of using, say, the time expression, let's add a keyframe for Y rotation. 
move forward by a half second, then add a keyframe. You know, from here, we'll move forward by another half second and increase the rotation by 60 degrees to show the next slide. Now you can make these two keyframes easy ease with F9 on your keyboard. And then in the graph editor, you can slide these handles all the way across like this. And for the expression, type loop out offset just like this. And this will rotate and slide this seamlessly by forever, showing off every single slide. Now, if you go ahead and create a camera, what's gonna be really cool about this is enabling depth of field to make this cinematic. Just increase the aperture and blur level, and you may also need to adjust the focus distance to keep your front slide in focus. But this is great. However, reflections would make this even greater. So select all of your slide elements, including that null object, duplicate them, and then pre-compose this as a reflection. Then inside of this composition, create an adjustment layer and use the compound blur effect. You're gonna need a texture image so you can get mine that I'm using in the description below, or you can just throw something in and turn it off. Set the blur layer to that texture and then increase the blur amount. Then back in your main composition, make this pre-comp 3D and click continuously rasterize. From here, we'll set the Z rotation to 180 degrees and then position this under everything. From here, we'll go to layer, flip horizontal, and then try using the linear wipe transition effect to fade this into your floor a little bit better. But now you can go writing on a cinematic 3D carousel. If you wanted to create more of a smooth cylinder style, just place all your media back to back in a long width composition, leaving no space along the edges. Then back in the main composition, apply the CC cylinder effect to it and animate the rotation Y and then set the shading ambient to 100. Now with some repositioning, you can easily create this style of carousel as well. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.